What's up, YouTube? It's your boy J3 Paul on 20 foes. Getting ready to hit this clock. I here checking out the yard. Kind of rained a little bit last night. I didn't do too much damage today. But, uh, yeah, let's go and hit this clock. Another day, another dollar. Oh, yeah. Good boy, definitely going to be checking this out tomorrow. Got to check that out tomorrow. Gun show. Got to add on to the collection. Of course, got to keep something with you at all times. Use the house to baby and wreck it. And there she go. Let me get that start up. Left outside, I know. Should be the shine, I'm gonna say. Yeah, gang. If y'all new to the channel, please subscribe. Like, share, and grow with you, boy. This is the first official video on this channel. J3 Paula underscore on 20 foes. Oh, I see my trunk open. Wonder how that happened. YouTube. Anyway, everything's still in there, so we all good. I've been under construction. Uh, got broken into while I was at work. I uploaded that video when I finally got that call. Uh, yeah, but yeah, this is my, uh, 2015 Impala LT on 20 foes. Um, I go through the mods that I had done and still currently working on. This is the sound system. Um, I pretty much got that down. I need to upgrade my amps. I um, stayed with the factory radio. I found this box that uh, amplifies the sound out of the factory radio, then into the amp to give you a aftermarket radio um, type of ordeal. Yeah, so I'm headed off to work. Local truck driver. So if any of y'all wanna get into that world, truck driving, uh, you can comment down below. And uh, I'll walk you through it the best as I know how. to get local to work with the company that I'm able to work with now it took uh, took a couple of years over the road under, your, under my belt to get to this point but it 
don't get me wrong, if some companies uh, that are hire you as soon as you get your CDL. So, like I say, if uh, that's something you're interested in, uh, holler at me. And I'll definitely uh, put you on game. I'd have my own truck, lease my own truck. Uh, I'd have been a mentor. And that's an over the road trainer. That's who, once you leave school, um, once you're done with school, you're required to go with your mentor. Uh, unless it didn't change in the past two years, you're required to go with your mentor for 200 hours over the road. Now, however long that take, it depends on you and your mentor. Um, could take a couple of months. Could take a month. But you have to have 200 hours and so many bag ends uh, before your mentor can release you and say uh, he's ready or she's ready to... to uh, test out which that's basically just seeing uh, if you ready to get on your own truck and did the mentor do his part or her part uh, yeah so after that I got started uh, lease my own truck that's when you like get your own boss run how you want to hire people train people so I went I did both routes I didn't train and I didn't hire and uh, like I said I can break that down to you if you uh, got something you're interested in but uh yeah get back with y'all uh, when I get to the to the yard What's up, God? This is where it all got started at for your boy. A lot of people talk bad about him. Turned out great for me. Yeah. Swift transportation. What's up, bro? Uh-huh. All right, guys, we made it to the workhouse. This is it. Matter of fact, like I said, my car got broke into. And uh, this way it got broke into it. Right here. All right, father, no. Right here at the job. We did get into that later on. But this is a uh, this type of truck. It's called uh intermodal. And uh what we deal with is, is what we call containers uh, from the rail yards. From the rail yard to the customer or from the customer to the rail yard. And that's what we do. That's uh, parking for the other guys down there. I 
and then stop parking there. But anyway, this is the truck, my truck. Two five 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 nine Volvo. That's the truck number I just read off. That's how you uh, distinguish which truck you got. The majority of these trucks look the same. And this is a uh, manual. I mean, I'm sorry, automatic, not a manual. Back in here. I'll walk you through this real quick. This is a. Uh, Kind of like a clock in, clock out type of thing, and keep up with your hours. Uh, since I've been off for 15 hours and six minutes, which is cool, nothing unusual. I hit this button here, it goes on duty. Do my pre trip, 15 20 minute pre trip. Which, if you don't know what that is, uh, just comment below, holler at me. Like I said, I'll walk y'all do all that. That's all. I didn't get a chance to catch the office before they closed, so I got my little paperwork. Well, actually, they must have got it already. They must have came in the truck and got it already. But normally when I don't catch the office, uh, before they lock up, I just turn in my paperwork, my timesheet, uh, the next day. And this is what our, our timesheet looked like. Basic information, your name, your start time. The day and the date. And that be that on that. Let's start this bad boy up. Yeah, it got a uh, build up air pressure. seconds, 45 seconds for the air pressure grill. So that's what's here. So while that's going on, we're going to walk into the office and uh, see what we got to get us started. Yeah, so now I'm finna go in and I'll let the dispatcher see what he want me to get started on today. These other guys, uh, they come in about an hour or two earlier than I do. This is my set time, so no, I'm not late. This is just the time I get started. All right.
sit in here and wait to the dispatcher get in. Nothing unusual, trust me. Good enough to go to post and let me know. Okay. There you have it. Just that simple. I'm going to go over here to a drop yard, a FedEx drop yard. And, uh,. See if this particular empty is good enough to uh, make a run up to post. All right, how did you guys make it?